Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another unboxing video. I'm uh, quite excited about the content of this small uh, box. Let me tell you what I paid for the whole box before I start with it. I paid 360 lays for the content of this box. Approximately 72.74 euros or 84.15 American dollars. So I have, uh, yes, I have here my small little celluloid knife. I believe it was produced by Flaro. And let me see if I can choose the right blade for you guys. I hope I can. Hmm. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm. Um, I will go with this small, small blade because it is quite practical. So this is the box. I've just returned with it from the post office. It is quite well wrapped, and I hope that I can do a nice job opening it. I've tried to cut it from this part. It is a quite well wrapped package. I hope that I can manage to to open it without cutting myself. Some of those packs are quite, quite well wrapped and it is very hard for me to open them. This, this is part of that same category. So you can see large, large pieces of uh, cardboard and this cardboard material, it is quite a strong material, but you can see I've managed to open it. So this is the box, it is empty right now, I will put it aside and now let's focus on what is left in the box. So I'm not so sure guys, but I think yeah, this uh, includes several writing instruments, I will remember as soon as I see them. So, the last part, like I told you, a quite well wrapped package. I guess better stay safe than sorry, guys. <laughs> it is good to be wrapped in so many layers. Let me see now. the moment of truth and yes the individual wrapped in tissues as well <coughs> let's start with this one and let's see what we have here whoa yes we have a vintage vintage one i'm curious to zoom on it to to show you guys what we have here so let me show you the beautiful clip in the shape of a snake, a snake head. And let me show you also the top, which has a little dove on it and some initial BAD. Or uh, air ID. It appears to be celluloid, the material, and it is quite, quite nice. Uh, I think it is a button filler, if I'm not mistaken, or a piston filler. <laughs> we'll see about that. It appears to have some missing element from this part. Let me show you the nib. It has a nice looking nib. 
it appears to be a steel one, gold plated, or even a gold one, but I can't see the imprints. And this celluloid, it has an interesting, interesting shape to it. I will leave this aside for the moment, guys. Because I want to show you the other one. And after that, maybe I will uh, go on some other details relating this beautiful vintage fountain pen. Let me see the other one. The other one is... I believe it is a Caveco, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is a Caveco. Judging by the way it looks, I think it is a model from the 1960s or the 1970s. Let me see if I, I can see imprinted on the barrel something, no. But I think I can see it on the cap. So a Caveco. Caveco. And no, just Caveco on it. Interesting model. Maybe it is a Caveco Dia, I'm not so sure. It opens like let me see, like this. So it does a screwed in cap. Quite, quite nice. It should be a V model because we have here a hooded nib. So definitely a V model. I'm not seeing um, on the side the gold um, imprints, but it looks like a gold nib. Nice one with an ink window, and I'm yes, we have here a V85, guys, a piston filler, a V85. So I paid for both of them around 73 euros or 85 American dollars, and I think the Cavaco was uh, the expensive one because it is in a good, good form. And um, I think it has an interesting name. Definitely a broader or an oblique nib. It looks like a broad nib. I can't hardly wait to do its review and to write with it. So guys, two wonderful vintage fountain pens one from the 1930s and this one from the 1960s or the 1970s this was my unboxing please uh, give me a like or subscribe to my channel if you if you loved this unboxing remember that in a few days you will see both of these wonderful writing instruments reviewed on my channel so if you are interested in one of them, you will uh, see in a few days their actual review on my channel. Guys, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, again, I have problems with my voice, so I hope you understood me correctly during the whole uh, video process. I... Uh, want to wish you a wonderful day wherever you are and uh, uh, please stay safe and God bless you all. Bye bye.